Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, I got a fun show today. Going to get into um, Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, which is not official because we can't have nice things in the boxing community. Cannot have it. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, please uh, follow us. Uh, quick hits. Uh, so quick hits comes up to you every day, eight to, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Yep. All right. Um, so, it looked like we were a done deal for Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis on April 15th. Um, that is no longer a done deal, and uh, I got a real bad feeling about this. So, the holdup is a rematch clause, a unilateral rematch clause. Only uh, Tank gets a rematch if he loses. If Ryan loses, he doesn't get a rematch. Um, that's not the holdup. The holdup would be who televised and who's the main promoter on said rematch. Uh, I agree. With Golden Boy on this, but obviously, you know, PBC <clears throat> wouldn't want to give up that leverage. Uh, PBC Showtime wouldn't want to give up that leverage. And yes, I understand PBC is a management company. I, I get it. Um, so, where does that kind of put us? It's a small thing and a minor thing, right? Because I, I think. Ryan and, and Oscar are 100% certain that they're going to win. It's simple and plain. They are 100% certain they're going to win. So the rematch is, they want the rematch because the rematch is big money, right? And, and you know that I picked Tank Davis to win, right? The, the rematch is real big money um, if Ryan wins or if Tank wins. You know, the, it, it's going to be a big event. It's going to get a lot of eyes. They want the rematch on the zone. They want, you know, Golden Boy wants, you know, to be the A side promoter. Obviously, if there is a rematch, PBC wants to hold that. Um, I kind of have a question for you guys. Just name value. Who do you think is a bigger star, Ryan or Tank? Right? Like if they fought against each other, let's say they both fought a nondescript opponent. Who draws a bigger number? Do you think you got, you know, who, who gets more eyes on who sells more tickets? I was at Ryan Garcia um, when he fought um, in San Antonio at the Alamo Dome. It was big. It was a lot of people there. 15, 16,000 people. It was almost a year ago. There's a lot of people there. It was a big, big event. Um, I, I know. And, and Tank. Tank fills the house out too in Atlanta, in Baltimore, in DC. I get it, he does. So I'm just kind of, but but what I'm saying is Ryan Garcia did it in the Alamo Dome, which is nowhere near where he lives. He has no connection to Texas. Um, so I was kind of interested in who you guys think is a bigger draw. Because my kind of gut instinct is that it is Ryan. Um, but I could be wrong about that. It's close. Um, so I kind of thought that Ryan would be the A side in this fight. I, Ryan really wanted the fight. He made some concessions, and and you know Tank obviously does big numbers. He did the biggest gate in the history of Capital One. So you know I could be wrong. You know Tank could be the biggest star. I, I could be wrong about that. I just kind of want your your feeling about that. Um, as for the fight, I obviously favor Tank Davis. I, I think with his explosiveness, um, his timing, and his power, it's only a matter of time. Um, you know, Ryan's there to be hit. You know, Ryan's going to have the height and reach of it. I would imagine he's the bigger, bigger man in the ring physically, right? Like he's going to outweigh Tank in the ring. Um, 
so Ryan's got advantages. Ryan's also lightning fast, but I just <clears throat> tank explosiveness and his power combined with his timing is just another level. He's a special, gifted fighter. And he doesn't panic. You see, he gets these late knockouts. Like in the Barrios fight, he's fighting a big guy, biggest guy he's ever fought, 140 pounder. who's a massive 140-pounder. He's fighting a welterweight in there for all intents and purposes. Like Keith Thurman said to Barrios, you're the biggest little guy I've ever seen. Um, and he's behind. It seems – I know the scorecard didn't reflect that, but we all thought he was behind. Um Floyd Mayweather, who was his promoter at the time, was yelling at him that he's behind. And he didn't panic. He came in there and took care of business. You saw him take care of business in, in other fights as well. Um, the Raleigh Ramirez fight, Santa Cruz, things aren't going his way. He stays, he doesn't panic. He doesn't, you know, he stays in control and he finds his opening and he, and he delivers. Um, I, 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 so I kind of expect that in a Ryan Garcia fight. I think he's going to be behind on the scorecards when he when when he wins, right? I, I think Ryan Garcia is going to be doing great until he is, kind of like Barrios was doing, or Roley was doing, right? Like, the, just the explosiveness. Like it, I mean, it, you can't keep Tank off of you. Tank is an absolute beast. Um, I, I think, you know, Tank and Frank Martin is a great fight. I think that's a great fight. Um, I think those might be the two best 135s in the world. And I, I would love to say, no, no, no shade at Devin Haney, but I think Frank Martin beats him. And I, I would definitely pick Tank to beat Devin Haney. There's no way Devin Haney is keeping Tank off. He doesn't have the power to do it. Doesn't have the power to do it. Um, but back to the, uh, the you know, promotional issues. We just can't have nice things in boxing. Um, I, I, again, I, I don't, everything is agreed on except who gets to air and who gets to promote the rematch if Ryan wins. And this is going to hold this thing up, man. Like, we're just not getting anything, right? Like, Thurman and Spence is not official. I would bet the house we don't get um, Usyk and Fury. We it's just, I mean, this is being a boxing fan in, in 2023. We're just not going to get these fights. It's unfortunate. It's killing the sport. I'm not convinced. Those three fights I just named, I'm not convinced we get any of them. Um, I I think a fair agreement would be, okay, PBC, you get the rematch, but it's bilateral. It's bilateral. There's an automatic rematch uh, clause for whoever wins. Not not just unilateral. Not just if Ryan wins. If Tank wins, Ryan gets rematched too, and it gets to be on PBC. I think that's a fair agreement, don't you guys? Because I again, I think the star power, the name value is really, really close between these guys. Like I kind of feel like it's two A sides. It's not a B side and an A side. It's just kind of two A sides. Um, I think that I came up with. That. I think that's a fair agreement, right? Bilateral rematch clause, but it goes to PBC. Would Tank not want that? You know, I guess Tank wants to do other things. You know, I, I don't know what, but, you know, he's going to have lots of options. But so would Ryan. Ryan took the rematch close um, if he loses. I mean, if he wins. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you think we're going to get this fight? Do you think this is just a uh, <laughs> hold up of a great fight that we all want to see? Uh, thoughts, comments, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Remember, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 a day. Please subscribe. Uh, and remember to check that out. Hit the notification. Get all those. Uh, hit the bell icon to get those notifications. And also, please subscribe to the back, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Um, it is February 7th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.